guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can continue to see my videos and comment down below so that we can interact and get to know one another. Um, if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up because that helps everybody else find this video as well. Uh, today we came up with this natural matte pink brown, pinkish brown, yeah anyways, natural matte natural matte soft pink look for Valentine's Day. I'll be coming up with other Valentine's Day looks for you, but this is the first one we're going to go ahead and do. This is for those of you who don't like to do the heavy smoky eye, the heavy eyeliner. You know who you are if you're one of my friends and you watch these videos. So I actually don't have any eyeliner on in this look. And for my waterline, I ended up using a Huda lip contour pencil. Um, I didn't want to go for black. I wanted a nice light brown pink color. So that's what we did. Um, yeah, it's a simple look. It's natural, it's glowy, and I hope you love it. If you want to see how we got this look, please keep watching. So to start off, I went ahead and used this rose hip body oil to moisturize my face. It's really important to make sure you moisturize your face. It makes up makeup application so much better. And then I went ahead with my Tarte Blur Primer, primed up my face, and jumped right into correcting my um, my red spots, my pimples, and a huge pimple on my eyebrow, <clears throat> and my under eyes. So always remember the green cancels out the redness, and the orange pink colors usually will cancel out darkness that is typically found under your eyes. I'm going to go back in with that red and putting it in the correct place this time. I almost put it in the wrong place. And then people typically have a little bit of darkness around their lips, which is why I did that. Right now I look really scary. I look like a zombie or something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go back in with my Urban Decay Under Eye Corrector and go over the red spots just to uh, make it blend a little bit better and to make sure all the darkness is canceled out really 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 well. I haven't been getting red sleep lately. That's what happens when you get dark spots. And then just use your fingers to tap it all in and then I'm going in with my Tarte Gel Hybrid Foundation and placing it all over my face with my Beauty Blender and blending it all in. Remember to use a really damp Beauty Blender. Just spraying it with a setting spray is not going to be good enough. Now the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which has become my favorite concealer really quickly because it blends out amazingly. Again, just place that on in your spots, blend it out with a beauty blender. <clears throat> and your skin looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and set that with a Morphe, Morphe Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I'm not baking, I'm just setting it. If it was baking, I'd use a dense brush and lay it on. Next, with a Morphe 35N palette, which is all matte, because we're going for a matte look here, using my Urban Decay Potion Eye Primer, place that on first, and I'm just going to let the video do the talking as far as colors, because there are no names. Just look at where I'm pointing, and follow my lead. So I'm just going to interject really quickly to remind you how important it is to blend out your eyeshadow. The Morphe palettes are amazing and really blendable, so it makes your job a little bit easier, but blend out at every step and when in doubt, blend again. 
Then I'm going in with my Cargo Eyeliner Pencil and using it to fill my eyebrows. Um, be creative. I've said this in my other videos. Just because the thing says eyeliner on it doesn't mean you can't use it for other purposes. Back in with my Sharp, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to clean up under my eyebrow. Um, this is pretty useful when you get out of the lines a little bit. Make sure to blend that out as well. And then I'm going in with a lighter color to buff everything out. I blend the uh, brow bone in with my eyeshadows. <clears throat> I didn't do a smoky look here, so I just took some of the darker colors and drew a line where the wing would be and buffed that out. You can barely see it, but I think it makes a difference. Now I'm setting my face with a Tarte Powder Foundation. Um, I find this makes my makeup last a very long time. Then go ahead and get your Butter London Bronze, bronze Clutch Palette and use the shadow color, the shadow, the contour color called shadow to slightly darken up under your cheekbone, which will accent my cheekbones and to use it to contour my nose. And then go in with the other two colors and warm up your face. I swear I did that. Here I'm using my Huda Beauty lip liner for my waterline. Again, be creative with your products. This was a perfect pinkish blue, pinkish brown shade. And I'm using my Lancome mascara. The specifics of the products will be listed down below in the description box. Always remember to put your mascara on before you put your falsies. Some people put it on after, but I think that ruins your falsies. Now I'm using the highlighter by Urban Decay called Aura. I will use that to highlight my cheekbones. Um, a little bit on Cupid's bow and probably down my nose. That's what I typically do. That's what I'll do. Oh, yeah, and under the brow. And finally, I'm going to go take care of my lips using the Urban Decay Vice palette, mixing two colors. The two colors will be listed down below. Um, I didn't want a super pink color, that's why I ended up mixing them. The colors were Disobedient and then followed by Vanished. So if you're disobedient, you might vanish. Just kidding. Back into, well, back into, I love these roller lashes. I'm so glad I got them during Christmas. Perfect, perfect set. I'm using Charlotte's Web to get a natural look. Mm -hmm.